Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Monday, July the 22nd. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. A link to get into our free room, 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our room. I open the room every morning at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. That's when I start to share my screen, get live in the mic. And I go up to 3.30 Mondays to Thursdays and up to 3 o'clock on Fridays. In the email you're getting, you'll see a promo code for 15% off, either the first month or the entire year of a Trade Ideas subscription. Okay, well, kind of a quiet day for me. I did do a couple of trades, uh, go over them right now. Yeah, I'm gonna talk, I'll talk about the pays trade first. Now we're just, just going to start earning season, all right? We had a few earnings plays today, but uh, for the for this, uh, balance of this week, and for the next three weeks after that, we will have a ton of earnings plays. And so it should be pretty exciting. A lot of it, there'll be a lot of activity. Pays was not an earnings play, but it did get a downgrade uh, this morning. If you're unfamiliar with uh, Pays, just take a look at it on, say, the daily chart. You're going to see the, the run it had. It actually was a symbol name change right here. And once it got out of here, look at the run it had, you know, all the way from nine dollars all the way up to eighteen. All be just, just it's just a symbol change, or sorry, the name change. I can't remember what the name of it was before, but they we see this a lot too. You know, a company makes a, a symbol change, and you know, it almost looks like it's an IPO. Uh, that's where it first started trading as pays. But anyway, this had a tremendous run. And in fact, look at it on the weekly. That probably even gives a better, yeah. I mean, look at it on the weekly. Just a steady, steady run all the way up. And had a little pullback on Friday. And then there was a, as I say, a downgrade this morning by from somebody. And so this is what happened. This is, man, when it opened, it just kept moving down, 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 down. Now, I started paying attention to this because I had this thumbnail. I saw this, I saw this pop here. And sure, I wish I'd got involved here. If we look at, is it the 15 minute? Maybe the five minute. To take a look where I saw the cross. Yeah, you see this cross right there. There's the eight EMA crossing over the 20 SMA. The problem is, is that the VWAP was a little bit above that. The VWAP was about right here. Uh, I think it was at 14, 20 something or 24 or so. So it would have been awesome had the VWAP been underneath. I probably I would have taken it right here, but I wanted to wait for the for it to clear the VWAP, and that's basically what it did. Uh, so I ended up taking this trade right here at 14:30 ish. Sold some right here, 14:46. Sold a lot right there, just underneath 15. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to take out 15. And so I decided to sell some here and then the balance right around here. But the majority of my trade was right here. And that turned out to be just an awesome bounce, uh, bounce play. Somebody asked me, well, where did I see it? Well, of course, we saw it in the pre-market because of the downgrade. I, I was following it then. I had it thumbnailed. And then on this action here is when I really started to pay attention to it. And then, as I say, I waited for the break of the VWAP and then I hopped into it. The other one that is um, that worked out well for me is MYGN. So if you guys have been in the room or for, for a while, you know that I, I have something called Evening Scan Next Day. And I haven't actually had it up and running for, for a few months now. And for whatever reason on the weekend, I decided to resurrect it. So basically what it does is at the end of today, I'll be looking at the stocks. In fact, let me just bring it up here. I think I've got it. See if I can just find it. Here we go. So there's the evening scanned scan. Okay, all it is is just looking for stocks with these filters. So now again, this is my price range. Actually, I think I, I reduced it to fifty, but uh, current volume is at least two four hundred thousand shares, up or down at least four percent and within 10 15% of the higher or the low of the day. Now I'm, I'm going to see, I wait till the end of the day. In fact, usually maybe even 15 minutes after the market closes before I get my list of stocks that meet all those filter criteria. I take the list of stocks and then I put them into a symbol list and 
then I follow them the next day. And the only one that triggered today was uh, MYGN. You know, that was on, from Friday. It's the only one that triggered, but boy, what a nice trigger. And again, this is what I'm talking about. Here's the symbol list, only the following list, my evening scandals. And please don't ask me for this because uh, symbol lists are unique to everybody's account. So I can't copy it. You have to make up your own symbol list. You know, you, it's easy enough to, to create this, this particular uh, top list window. You know, again, it, what I do, I'll just go over it one more time. You don't have to use the same filters, but you know, here's the price range I'm using, the current volume, uh, 400,000 shares, up or down 4%, and within 15% of the higher, the low of the day. You, of course, can make any changes you want. If you get too many symbols, then you know, you start to tighten it up. You get too few, maybe relax them a bit. So anyway, I decided on the weekend that I would kind of resurrect this. I used to use this a lot. And uh, it gave me, they only gave me one alert today, but what a nice alert. And that was the MyGen. And I ended up taking this short right here at 2780. And I covered a lot down here at 2745, sort of an average. I got, I got rid of some down here and some up here. So the average was right there. And, but it, it, what I loved about it is that I got in on this candle there and it just moved so quickly right after that. I love the quick, quick trades that, uh, that give you good percentage gains. So, I mean, who doesn't? But anyway, those are really the only two. I tried Kate a couple of times, um, on, I think on the short and then the bounce, and uh, basically went flat uh, on that trade. And I know a lot of people, this was a great one. LCI was a really nice one right from the get-go. This was a, new, a sort of a story stock last week. A lot of people in the room. Uh, on this one, it looks like it might even want to keep going. Some, some were looking for a pullback here and maybe a short under here, but it looks like it might even want to keep going. So a bit of a, a, a um, not that many trades for me today, but again, a couple of really nice ones, Pays and the MYGN, that kind of made my day. So anyway, want to get back into the room and I expect tomorrow is going to be a lot more active because we'll have... I think this week we've got something like 800 companies releasing earnings. The week after that, it'll probably be in the thousand. thousand. The week after that, probably a thousand. So we're, you know, we're right in the, we're just at the be very, very beginning of earnings season. So it, it'll be a lot, it'll be a lot of activity in the room, lots of things to look at. So um, come into the room, you know, it's a free room. No excuse for not coming in. We've got a lot of great, great traders in the room. It's not just about my telling you what to buy or sell all day long. My purpose in the room, of course, if I'm looking at something and I take the trade, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'm throwing out ideas all day long, but we have just great traders in the room too. And you can follow, you know, some trading styles, uh, my trading style may not uh, jive with what you like. The other thing, of course, I'm always trying to help people understand how to use our program. So uh, that's why it's a free room. And even if you're not a trade idea subscriber, uh, you know, we're trying to show people how trade ideas works. And, you know, obviously at some point we hope that somebody that you'll become a subscriber. But, you know, there's no um, you don't have to be a, a subscriber to come into our free room. All right, everybody, I want to get back into the room. So, again, if you have any questions for me, this is the email address you can use. The link to the free room. I'll open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Hope everybody has a great evening. We'll see you in the trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.